we hope to be able to be self-sufficient. We were importing rice before. The last time we imported rice was in 1976, 77. We paid $500 million for that price. Today, we are exporting rice to our neighboring countries. And uh, the uh, per capita income was about $200. Now, it is more than $800 uh, per capita income. The um, gross national income has increased five times. As you know, uh, we have one of the most modern and biggest concentration of agricultural and natural scientists in Asia. This is in Los Banos, the University of the Philippines. And um, we have biogenetics, we have uh, plant uh, engineering, we have uh, name it. You remember that the International Rice and Research Institute is based there and that it was the one that produced um, the new uh, type of rice which produced the rice green revolution. And we help your scientists produce the uh, corn that uh, can fight mildew when your scientists could not produce it. We did. That uh, center is uh, going to be developed. We are also hoping to be able to exchange uh, technology on uh, uh, non-conventional energy and other uh, uh, matters. It has been reported that your government will seek $2 billion in rent from the U.S. for the Philippine bases. Is this an accurate report? No, it is not. We have never talked about figures. Louder and clearer. We can understand the question. Uh, the question uh, was, is it correct that we have demanded $2, million, two billion in the rent? The answer is no. We, we haven't quoted any ex uh, figure. What we have asked is this. We want a study. What is it that is necessary in order that we can perform our job? You and I know that if the Philippines is a top, the United States is not necessarily bound to immediately react because the provision of the Mutual Defense Pact is that you will immediately take steps as is necessary to meet the contingency in accordance with your constitutional processes. What does that mean? That means that you go to the Senate and the House of Representatives. What does that mean? That means delay while we are dying there. <laughs> Most of our allies in Europe, concerned about resisting communism, give the U.S. free bases and even share the cost. Why shouldn't we expect the same kind of cooperation from the Philippines instead of demands for more rent? Well, uh, for one thing, um, you haven't exactly uh, paid for what we lost in the last war. If we must make an accounting, 75% <laughs> of our cities were devastated in the last war. We lost a million men. Shall I quote you the statements of Roosevelt and MacArthur that every caraba will be paid for? Shall I tell you that the veterans who were inducted into the USAF, the United States Armed Forces of the Philippines, of the Far East, your armed forces were paid only one half the salary of your soldiers. Shall I tell you that uh, we almost turned communists because you refused to recognize us? Shall I tell you that uh, I had a difficult time stopping my guerrillas, 25,000 of them from joining the communists? Because precisely, you, you, you uh, sort of forgot that... Uh, we had done the fighting for you, you know, and uh, we were parts of your armed forces. But in fairness to the American Congress, when we came here and we called attention to the fact that we had been abandoned and forgotten, they themselves in outrage immediately passed the law, recognizing the services of the uh, Filipino and reinstating them as parts of the United States armed forces in the Far East including back pay and benefits. That uh, 
Uh, Madam President is uh, the answer. In addition to the fact that uh, those people that you are talking about have uh, been making money at the expense of the United States for quite a long time, while we have not. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, U.S. bases in the Philippines could not be defended. Why should we expect that in another war these bases would be more reliable? That's one of the questions that I wanted to find out. <laughs> if you are going to run out on us anyway, you better let us know now. <laughs> 